Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla, and I want to say thank you for stopping by for a visit today. I love visiting with you guys, and I welcome you to my little channel. <laughs> so today is day 10 of December, which is my son Elijah's birthday. He is 23 today, so happy birthday, Elijah. He is at work today. He's working open to close. Um, because they don't have any employees, <laughs> so um, we are going to take him out to eat tomorrow night. On Sundays, the um, the stores you know close a little bit earlier. Like I think that I think they might close at like seven. So anyway, I think we're supposed to meet him and our oldest son, Dakota, will come too. We're supposed to meet them at like 8.30 tomorrow night. So, yep, I hope he's having a good day, even though he's at work. But he's worked many a years on his birthday. Um, that's just part of it, you know, part of way in a life. Um, actually, Elijah has been working since... Um, since he was like 14 <laughs> he um started to work at the pumpkin patch and christmas tree farm not really as an employee because he was too young but miss curry would pay him to come and um tend to their new dog during business hours because they had um they had a dog for many many years a um great pyrenees and it had passed away, and so they had got a new dog, and they were trying to socialize it with, you know, people coming to the um, farm and stuff. And so she hired Elijah to come and drive the dog around in the golf cart <laughs> and just kind of tend to the dog, walk him around, and let him, you know, meet people, but make sure that... You know, everybody was safe and everything, and the dog just got socialized really well. So, he did that. Um, I think he did that for two years before he was actually, or maybe the next year, he just had to get a um, permit from the school board saying that he could work. And then when he was 16, he didn't work that year because he had major surgery and had a long recovery time. But he's worked every year um, since then somewhere. He did work for Miss Curry up until he graduated high school. And he loves the Currys. He loved working at their farm for pumpkin season and Christmas tree season. Um, he loves them so much. And um, I appreciate her training him to be a good employee and teaching him, you know, how to work and so he's worked other jobs you know since then but anyway um then he went to college and then you know he's always had a job since then so um i hope he is having a good day so anyway it is december the 10th it is um pretty warm here it's not too warm but it's not cool <laughs> It's pretty warm. We have the AC running. If you noticed in my Christmas light video a couple of days ago, if you noticed there was, you know, just some kids running around out in the open there, they had on shorts. And at one point, I think when I was walking up to the Louisiana section of the lights, um, a little girl ran up with sleeveless dress on. I mean, it is warm here. It's not cold. <laughs> So that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes a Christmas day, we're running the AC. Um, our temps will drop down and we'll have some very cold days and even sometimes really, really cold days. And then the, the temps pop back up. So um, we don't stay cold <laughs> when we do have cold. But anyway, today I am drinking Caramel Delight Coffee. It's still pretty hot, so uh, I just kind of sip on it a little bit. But it is caramel delight, and it does taste really well. 
Um, Denise had sent me this box from Amazon. It is a K-cup sampler. It has 30 cups in here. Um, and this, it has um, coffees. It has, okay, regular coffee sampler, flavored coffee sampler, decaf coffee sampler, herbal tea sampler, hot chocolate sampler, bold coffee sampler. So, so far I have only pulled one tea out of here. And it was delish. I haven't pulled a hot chocolate yet. So, so far, I've just been pulling all coffees. But, um, I still have a ways to go. So, who knows. But, I'm trying one of these out each day. Just to, you know, try different coffees and teas and such. Um, on days that I am really nauseated and not able, don't feel like I should drink coffee. <laughs> I just drink my regular tea that I drink every day. My Louisiana sweet tea. But, um, I have been feeling better the last few days, but guess what? Today is the day that I will be taking my chemo medication tonight. So, it all starts back over. <laughs> like, I'll be sick, and then I'll have two or three good days, and then it I have to take the medication again, and it starts over. Uh, it's just part of it. Well, so this month I am working on a stitch sampler, Rana Wrap, and um, I love how it's turning out. So far, that's what I have. Um, I was I started this magenta color right here, going this direction, and so I went all the way down to the end, turned the corner, and just put a stitch a double crochet in each double crochet and line that back up and so i made it all the way down to right here and it's time to add in a new color so i'm excited to see what color we will be adding today but yeah this is um it's looking really good i mean i'm i'm enjoying working on it and i'm enjoying seeing it grow it has grown a good bit but it's still got a ways to go. I think I want to make this like really long. So um, I don't know exactly the measurements. But I do want it to be really long. And you know come from my shoulders all the way down. Um, maybe to my knees. So yeah I got a lot of work to do on it. <laughs> and I may carry this project on into January. And if I do that's fine. I do have another project that I'm supposed to be starting in January, but I got to get the yarn for it. But, um, yeah. So what I am, what's happening this month is my son Dakota put together some baggies for me. And so, and in these baggies, there's some kind of sticker on there. I was like, what is that? Um, in these baggies, um, is some yarn and I don't know the colors of the yarn. Um, and then I just open the bags each day, reveal the color, and then I'm adding that into my Rana wrap. So let's see what color we're adding in today. And I'm saving these bags because he said if I um, go over into January, he has more of these yarns. And someone, several people have asked me where did these yarns come from. He just ordered these from Amazon. I don't know like the link or anything like that. But I will tell you that if you're wanting to make this, you don't need these little things. I would just use scrap yarn from your yarn stash. Um, because these are not like high quality yarn. They're not the softest. They're, um, you know, acrylic. And they really do feel acrylic. <laughs> so just use scrap balls out of your yarn stash. <laughs> If you're wanting to do this, um, I'm hoping after, you know, it's made and washed up good that it, you know, softens up or blends well together or whatever. But I'm loving it anyway. So that's the color I'm adding in today. It is a blue, um, kind of a bold, pretty blue. So I'll be adding that in. And then the little surprise that was in the bag today is a Mulberry Street mini Miniatures. 
it is some balloons, a little present, and uh, a little party hat, and something else. Maybe just a little swag or something, I don't know. But, um, I can use that with my Calico Critters. So that'll be fun. Fun, fun. Yeah. Alright, so I need to tie this blue in next to this magenta. And I do think these colors look good. Will look good together here. Now, Dakota claims this is all random. That he did not plan out the colors. That they are just thrown in the bags. And then in no particular order. I don't even know if he had numbered the bags when he put the yarn in. So he says they're totally random. But you could have fooled me. <laughs> I think they are working up. You know, they're coming along great. So far, they all just go really well with each other. So, I'm just tying this a couple of times. Um, just to make sure it's, you know, a good night. I'd hate to do all this work and then <laughs> my knot's not stay knotted. Okay, and I have a little garbage can right here next to the buffet. Okie dokie. Well, let's see. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes I just have a little issue there figuring it out. This strap is working really well for me uh, with this size hook. And then I have another strap that is working well with other size hooks. So, yeah. It's going really good. And I'm just so thankful that I'm able to crochet. So, yeah. Alright, so anyway. Um, I need to finish off this row with the double crochets. So, let me get this magenta. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the next row. I might do... Hmm. I might do the fan stitch. No, I think I'll just do the granny stitch. I don't know. Sometimes it's just hard to decide. I like it better when I don't think about it and I just turn my work and just start crocheting. That way I'm not really thinking and trying to figure it out. I like this blue though. That looks really good. Today is Saturday, the 10th, as I said before. So what do you have going on today? What's going on in your life today? Um, Big Daddy and I have just not really been doing too much. Well, he's just been watching TV. And I have been working on that Candyland Christmas village that I am doing. I have got almost all of it done. I'm going to do a video after this. I'm going to go ahead and record another video um, about the icing on top of the houses. And then I might go ahead and do another video of decorating that house. But I've got so much done. The houses. I just got that one, one house left to do. And um, there's another part of the project that is done also and that's the part I'm most excited about but I have enjoyed working on that Candyland Christmas village and I hope to reveal that uh, very very soon like one day this coming up week all right so what am I gonna do mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, I'm, I 
chained one and I'm going to put a double crochet back in that very first stitch and then I'm going to skip two and put a granny stitch in the third let me see how that looks I just like doing double crochets that is my favorite stitch and that's the most relaxing stitch for me and then if I skip two I, I can't remember if I'm supposed to skip two or skip one I think I'm supposed to skip one I don't want to draw it in, so let me see what I did down here. I skipped two. Hmm. Yeah, I did skip two, but I'm not chaining in between them, so I'm just doing three double crochets. Skip two. And that's working out, yeah. Yeah, so tell me what you have going on today. Like I was saying, I've just been working on that um, Candyland, Gingerbread Candyland Town or something like that. Um, and I hope to have that up and go all put together in the next day or so um, actually I need someone to help me put two white plastic tables together because it needs uh, it's wide and it needs two tables together to put this out so there is a surprise part of it that the reason why it's going to be so wide so let's see what this is looking like yeah that blue does look good against that um magenta and it looks good against that I mint mean, green too I'm gonna have to get Big Daddy to run me down to the store here in a little bit because I gotta get Phoebe some doggy food I didn't realize that she was low and I filled her bowl up this morning with the last bit of it so I have to run down there and get her some dog food and other than that we don't really have any other plans for today just um, hanging out I don't I don't care to really go to town it's Saturday so it'd be so many people so I prefer to stay home for sure and not out on the roads and then tomorrow evening we'll go out for dinner with our boys but yeah okay let's see I like that what you guys think about these colors I think they are working up really well together I mean they they all just look really good together all right, so I'm going to let you all get going. I hope you have a great day. And I'm going to say it is a beautiful day to crochet. And I hope it is a wonderful day for you. Bye, friends. I will see you all in the next video.